Hey guys, it's Rainy. So for this phone case, I'm gonna be using this Barbie sign template that I did. This is like the classic style. I got it online. I cleaned the image a bit, but then I'm gonna be dragging it to a Word document and I'm gonna be printing this black and white because I don't need it to be pink. I'm gonna link below the image of this if you wanna print it out as well. So first I'm gonna be cutting this where the pink goes. I'm gonna be using some white foamy paper. Feel free to work with pink one if you prefer. Tracing this with my Sharpie and I'm using just the Sharpie that that is just the fine tip. I just prefer to work with this one. Then just cutting this the same way that I did with the paper. Then I'm going to be painting this using this pink acrylic paint. Doesn't have to be this one though. This is just the one that I have. If you have a pink that is like brighter, feel free to work with that. I mean, feel free to work with whatever pink that you like the most. And I'm using my brush and this is a brush that is supposed to be for like, I guess it's for the crease area. I never use it for makeup. I just use my makeup brushes for arts and crafts pretty much. I'm going to be placing my paint on my matte craft. I do have the review for this one. Begin it from there and don't forget to cover the sides as well because they're gonna be noticeable. Using the same sign, cutting out the letters now. For this, I'm using fine scissors. These are the kinds of scissors that you find at like the beauty section at the drugstore to trim eyebrows, cut eyelashes, like fake ones and all that stuff. Those are gonna be better for this because they are finer, they are pointier, they work better to cut out these details. This is how I'm cutting like the inside part of this. First like poking them, then my scissors go through that and then just working my way in. I'm gonna be tracing these letters onto some other foamy papers in this case i'm using like the leftover pieces that i found you don't need that much at all and to avoid them moving around i'm just going to be using some double-sided tape cutting them into like mini stripes placing them on the back of the letters and then just tracing them with my pencil in this case as opposed to like the sharpie just so that the shape doesn't look as dark and it's going to be making more sense in a minute but i'm just going to be cutting this taking my time this is the part that took me the longest but i think this is going to be the deal breaker because this is kind of like the main focus of the whole thing and for the little dot of the eye i just used this hole puncher then i'm going to be painting this this is already white but again you can kind of see the trace of the pencil plus just to make this brighter using my watercolor paint and this tool that i do have the diy on it's actually really handy it's like multi-purpose one now i'm just going to be covering my phone case with black acrylic paint covering the whole thing just giving this two three coats and i actually really like this phone case because it's not as flexible so if i drop my phone this really protects it. I'm gonna try to link it below. So now I'm just gonna be assembling the whole thing. First I placed my letters onto the pink just to have an idea of what it would look like. I placed the whole thing on top of my phone case and then I removed the letters. You don't have to do this in this order though. This is something that I did just to guide myself. Then I'm gonna be gluing this using my super glue. I bought the super glue in a pack of 12. I do have the review for that one if you want to check it out. And just adding a bit of pressure as you go so that everything stays in place. Placing the letters back in and just remember though this is pretty much a note to self the e goes with a bit of an angle because in a previous barbie diy i didn't remember this and i had to do the whole thing all over again which waste of materials and time love that for me we're then going to be applying a coat or two of a spray gloss i got it up of amazon working outside wearing my gloves and i had this just to add a shine in my opinion it looks much nicer but yeah guys this is pretty much the idea that i want to share with you this is inspired by the movie coming soon i think the black background makes the barbie sign stand up a lot and i really liked it and yeah i love it hopefully i liked it too if you did don't forget to give this a thumbs up check out the other phone cases and other barbie diys that i made and share this thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye